Hello, hi folks. This is Shetesh Saxena. I am the Shopify team developer here in W3 Speedup. So uh, today I'll I'm, I'll be telling you that how to lazy load uh, an image in the Shopify theme. So let's get let's head directly to the theme section. I have a W theme. Uh, um, I installed it in January 2020. And uh, if I'll go here and uh, if I'll just open any product template like uh, you know a car grid, you'll see an image tag here okay so by default uh, the lazy load of uh, shopify is working but like right now i will actually put my lazy load which is like you know you have to change the class you have to uh, change this class to lazy load to lazy loaded and you have to add one class it's lazy lazy two and uh, if you'll just see here that image url image url is actually uh, being created from here so it's a product feature image like this uh, I mostly use a 720 pixel image which is like more than sufficient for the pro, uh, desktop and uh, for mobile I will use the MOB SRC and I'll be using a 480 pixel and apart from that I'll be so I'll be using uh, for SRC tag I'll be using a 1 by 1 pixel image so like I'll, if I'll just click here uh, it will give me a transparent 1 by 1 pixel image and I'll put it here like uh, this so that you know we don't uh, send any request to the server we'll just you know uh, put a base 64 of an image of 1 by 1 pixel and uh, so here as uh, let, let me explain this again uh, in image tag a class with lazy2 and uh, the SRC tag which is actually blank or like 1 by 1 pixel image which is not sending any request to the server and uh, in data SRC uh, I mostly put 720 pixel you can put anything what, uh, uh, whatever you, you have in your mind because it's going to load a uh, load uh, a little late so I mostly put 720 pixel and uh, for mobile I put 40 pixels and we don't actually need these but I would request you or I would like prefer not deleting these and I will just save, save it and uh, also apart from that you have to add a file in your theme.css which is So you have to add uh, a www optimization .js. I have actually copied it with me. So I'll just paste it here. Uh, so there you go. And uh, I have a www optimization .js file which I'll be uh, adding. So I just added www optimization .js. I uploaded it. And uh, let's wait for getting it uploaded on the server uh, it's uploading almost done yeah so we have www.optimation.js file this is the optimization.js file um, what actually will happen is like you know whenever you will uh, whenever a user will interact with the uh, like uh, with the dome or like you know uh, if, it, if it will click or like a scroll or mouse move event uh, it will uh, actually open the www uh, init function and uh, in www init function we have lazy load images file so uh, uh, images image function uh, in this function you know all the uh, mo mo uh, mobile src will be uh, converted to the src tag uh, if the window width is less than 600 pixel or else uh, it will take the data src or like you know uh, the yeah data src tag if it is like a desktop so that's it that's it folks thank you